Ya dale. Hey guys, Buffalo here. Got a quick video for you today on these Skinner sights. I mentioned that I had installed these in that last uh, video I called Throwing Heat with the Marlin 1894 44 Magnum here. And uh, got a few comments about them and some questions. Try to answer some of those right now. These are the uh, Skinner Express. They've got several different styles to choose from. I chose the Express. You know, they've got uh, brass and uh, stainless steel, blued steel like I have here. I chose the blue and I'm very happy with them because the blue really matches the Marlin, the factory Marlin finish. Now these sights are uh, adjustable. They're easy to adjust. There's a set screw here that you can loosen and move the uh, dovetail left or right to adjust your windage. And I opted for the thumb screw for the elevation. Just loosen the thumb screw and turn the aperture stem up or down. Uh, about a half a turn will give you about two inches of elevation change at 100 yards. Depends on your sight radius, of course, uh, how much actual elevation will it will change. But, uh, you know, of course it has a semi-buckhorn rear sight factory from Marlin. You don't have to remove that sight. It's not in the way or anything if you want to leave it on there. I removed mine and replaced it with a plug, which actually holds a spare aperture. This one is a very fine aperture. Handy for, uh, you know, bright light conditions or, uh, you know, shooting from a bench for groups or whatever. It's nice to have that. The uh, aperture that I have installed is actually, I'm just going to leave that down right here for a minute. The aperture that I have installed is a, what's called a medium. I think it's a .096 hole. And I use it for probably a third of my shooting. When you see me shooting, like at the opening of this video where I'm shooting at 100 yards or farther, I've probably got this aperture in. But for most of my shooting, I just use it as a ghost ring. I don't have an aperture, have an aperture installed at all. Get around here, maybe you can see that. This is really good for uh, bright light or uh, close-up work when you don't need that precision of a really small aperture. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons I chose these sights is because they look like they're supposed to be on the gun. There's some other nice sights out there, but uh, I didn't feel like they looked like they belonged on this rifle. This sight certainly looks to me as if it belongs on the rifle. Now you can, uh, or I got away with using my front sight, my front factory sight. Um, sometimes you'll need a taller sight on the front since the uh, receiver mounted Skinner sight does set on a higher plane than your factory buckhorn does. But it all depends on the load that you're sighting in with and, and some other factors. I actually, uh, you know, I didn't have to make any changes. I put the sight on and my front sight was right on the money as far as elevation so I just had to make some windage adjustments you can see maybe you can see now the sun's gonna come out and give these harsh shadows but uh I just you can see the dovetails push just a little bit to the right so I had did have to make that little bit of a change but that's to be expected all in all these are great sites easy to install got two screws here holding it on of course you know just degrease your the holes and your screws apply a little loctite it goes right on if you can mount a scope base you can mount these skinner sights it's, it's not a big issue 
but just wanted to share these with you guys you know they're not nothing new they've been out for a long time but got a lot of new shooters uh, a lot of new subscribers that are new shooters coming aboard to this channel and uh, just trying to help them out as well if uh, you haven't saw these sites check them out I'll link the website down below thanks for watching guys and I'll talk at you again soon